Every year, 60,000 women in this country are diagnosed with DCIS, which is stage zero breast cancer. Diane Atwood, who writes the blog Catching Health, is one of those women, and she's here to tell us about a recent DCIS study which looked at death rates associated with the disease. And uh, Diane, it sound, zero, stage zero cancer sounds like it's not cancer at all, but it, it is cancerous. And that's controversial because there are some health experts that say it shouldn't be called cancer, it should be called precancer, and others who say, but the cells, you know, are cancer are cells, so it should be called cancer. So. Okay. All right, all right, so there's one controversy. Oh, there are lots of controversies <laughs> about it. The big one is how should it be treated? If you'd like to know more about my story, I was diagnosed with it last year, and you can read my story on the Catching Health blog. But in a nutshell, I chose to have a lumpectomy and no other treatment. I could have had radiation therapy along with five years of tamoxifen, which is a hormone therapy. I did tons of research asked lots of questions, got second and third opinions, and decided that for me, the risks outweighed the benefits. Now, most women do opt for surgery, either a lumpectomy or a mastectomy, some even double mastectomies. But there are health experts who argue that DCIS is often overtreated. It's not considered dangerous because the cells are confined inside a milk duct. The problem is, there's no way to predict when or even if the cells will break through and invade other tissues. Researchers analyzed the medical data of 100,000 women with DCIS to see what happened to them 10 and 20 years after they were diagnosed. They found that women with DCIS had about a 3.3% chance of dying of breast cancer within 20 years of their diagnosis. When compared to women in the general population, that's a 1.8% times greater risk. The risk was higher in women younger than 35 and in African American women. Having a mastectomy or radiation therapy did not prevent death from breast cancer. Now the researchers didn't come up with any treatment recommendations, unfortunately. My surgeon, Dr. Suzanne Hoekstra at Breast Care Specialists of Maine says, what needs to happen is a randomized study of women with DCIS who undergo treatment versus those who do not within about 20 years, we should have better answers. And until then, I say we need to ask questions like, why are you recommending this treatment? What are the risks and the benefits? Now you can read more and you can get the link to the DCIS study on my Catching Health blog. All right, and in a nutshell, what this study suggests is that there's only a very, very slightly increased chance of dying of breast cancer 20 years after diagnosis as opposed to the general population. That's right. Okay, so that's the, that's the takeaway from this that's particular the takeaway. study. And my okay. takeaway is ask questions. Don't just take yeah. the first solution that's offered to you. Fair enough. All okay. right, Diane, thanks very yes. much. We'll take a quick break and then be right back with some of the day's top stories and Todd's forecast right after this, our fourth and final half hour of the morning coming right up.